opening for an hour for a video that's more than likely going to be like four or five minutes. <clears throat> Why do I have to do so many takes? Hey, it's just Kevin. So when we look at the 16 personality types, we tend to group them into four different temperaments. If you've ever studied MBTI or Jungian typology, you probably immediately think of the temperaments as laid out by David Kiersey. In this video, I'm going to be going over another way to group these 16 personality types. And if you enjoy topics related to MBTI, 16 personalities, or other stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. So the first group I'll be discussing are the EJs, or what I'd like to call the organizers. These types are dominant extroverted judgers. This this means that they are naturally oriented towards changing their environment, whether that be through external logical order like the ETJs, or through social means like the EFJs. Now when I say change the environment, I don't mean, oh no, they're gonna go out with a chainsaw and mow down some trees. No. What I mean is that they're inclined to modify the outer world to suit their needs. In the case of the ENTJs and ESTJs, their extroverted thinking gears them towards organizing the environment through proven logical systems. You see this a lot in the business world. These are the people typically in management or administrative positions where they have the power to control how the company runs. On the other end, we have the ENFJs and ESFJs with their dominant extroverted feeling. The way they organize their environment is through the social sphere. Instead of relying on logical mandates like ETJs, EFJs instead appeal to emotions and shared feelings in order to persuade people into action. You hear this when you listen back to Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. You hear how he's promoting equality and civil rights through vivid imagery of camaraderie between people of all colors. So in summary, organizers, or EJs, are the personality types that prefer to take a more proactive approach to the world. Now, explorers, or EP types, are almost the exact opposite. They prefer to leave the world alone and prefer to observe it as is. They are known for being dominant extroverted perceivers. Their inclination is to gather a lot of information from the outer world, either in the form of external physical sensory like the ESPs, or through metaphysical concepts like the ENPs. With the ESTPs and ESFPs, exploration takes a more physical approach through the use of their dominant extroverted sensing function. This is why they've been known to live life in the moment and jump off cliffs sporadically. What the hell? Maybe not all, but definitely some. ENTPs and ENFPs, however, explore the world through the concepts and ideas that are implied from it through the use of their extroverted intuition. It's the metaphysical world they like to interact with, like sciences, the arts, speech, and writing. So explorers, or EP types, are all about exploration and leaving the outer world as is, for the most part. The next group I like to dub the architects, or IJ types. Much like the EJ types, they're inclined to change the environment to suit their needs. However, they do so in service to something else, and don't get drunk off their need of control like EJ types might do. These types of people see the world through their internal perceptions, or mental schemas, so to speak. They find it their goal in their day-to-day -day lives to fulfill this kind of blueprint they see in their minds. This blueprint may be shaped by past impressions of the physical world, like the ISJs, or by an idea conjured deep within their subconsciousness, like the INJs. In the case of the ISTJs and ISFJs, they prefer to manipulate the world according to the most favorable impressions of their past experiences, presented through their introverted sensing function. These are the types of people more likely to uphold traditions, do things by the book, and follow procedures to the letter. In other words, they subscribe to the tried and true method of doing things. INTJs and INFJs, on the other hand, organize their environment according to a big idea presented through their introverted intuition. This idea may or may not have have a basis in reality. This means that whatever they're working towards may be absolutely genius or batshit insane. Power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Nothing will stand in our way. Nothing! All right, architects or IJ types want to change the world based on their internal image. You get the big picture. <laughs> That's not funny. The last group are the IP types, or what I like to call the absorbers. And no, they're not sponges. On the surface, they're gonna look very similar to the EP types in that they like to explore. But like with the IJs, there's a catch. While EP types might explore for the sake of exploring, there's always a bigger purpose behind an IP's exploration. They have dominant introverted judging, meaning they make decisions on an internal basis. I call them absorbers because they are, in a sense, self-absorbed. 
and not necessarily in a negative way. When they interact with the world, they do so to appease either their sense of reasoning if they're ITPs, or their personal values if they're IFPs. For INTPs and ISTPs, they seek to foster their internal framework of logic, created through their introverted thinking. These are people that learn best on their own and like to understand things for their own sake. Meanwhile, INFPs and ISFPs want to live life according to their personal values brought by their introverted feeling. These values, like an ITP's logic, are independent of the outside world and serve as a guide when they set out to explore life. One important thing to remember about IP types is that their internal judgments are reactive. Though they may seem passive on the surface, their inner judgments always keep them on guard. Trust me, you do not want to insult an ITP's intelligence or tread on an IFP's values. You'll live to regret it. Like a monk on a pilgrimage, IP types, or absorbers, walk their own path through life. So this was another way to group the 16 personality types, and my voice is shot. <coughs> if you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you want more MBTI related content or other projects that I think you might like. And I'll see y'all next time. Take care.